we are experiencing in Europe and the United States a NATO price hike. It is because of NATO that we are paying unprecedented prices at the pump. And high gas prices cause high food prices because it's harder to ship the food. It's harder for people to heat their homes. It costs more. Being uh, middle class or simply working class is becoming untenable in the West. And that is because of NATO and the decisions that were made in and around Ukraine, uh, but all leading up to this, the expansion of NATO to Russia's frontiers and borders. That's the price that we're paying for NATO's economic war. And there's an article I just tweeted out from Bloomberg, it's an amazing article. It's about how the Biden administration is now realizing what me or you, Richard, would have told them months ago, which is that their economic war on Russia and all the sanctions was going to lead to shortages of fertilizer and shortages of food and uh, high gas prices and fuel prices, and that they'd be sanctioning their own population because Russia is not North Korea. It's the 11th biggest economy in the world. And now they're realizing it, these geniuses, and they're trying to evade their own sanctions. Uh, it, it's truly amazing. And so, of course, more and more people are going to be upset about what NATO is doing and despise NATO itself. And I, that's a welcome development, in my opinion. Yeah, I uh, think this is one of the first, or shall we say, a few cases where you, you're actually having citizens in NATO countries feel a tiny bit of what it, you know, uh, of what it uh, is to be under sanctions. Or shall we, shall we say there's blowback to a certain extent? Usually they sanction Venezuela. No one even feels that. They have no clue what sanctions are. They're living in, you know, blissful ignorance. And th this is not the case. And uh, to your point, I saw an article from the New York Times, although they're quoting a study, but the... Uh, uh, you know, it's not it's not their research, but uh, the the headline is that you know Russia has um, made you know its oil revenue right now is soaring because of the sanctions. Like you know, right. and, and and the New York Times in the headline they say despite sanctions, like as if it's not related to it. <laughs> it's 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 yeah, really yeah. funny. It's really funny. Well, the State and Department is openly denying. They're going out in the media and openly denying the sanctions have anything to do with it when everybody knows that's what it is.